Hi everyone! Continue tayo sa ating math tutorial. So ngayon is nasa grade, four, uh, grade 5 math na tayo, quarter 4, module 2. So ang module 2 natin is meron tayong lesson 1. Ang lesson 1 is naming and converting appropriate unit of measures in finding volume. So meron tayong dalawang object dito. Ito is tinatawag nating rectangular prism at ito is tinatawag nating cube. Para mapangalanan ng tama ang unit of measure na ginamit sa pag-measure ng volume ng mga uh, three-dimensional object, dapat alam natin kung anong unit unit measure ang ginamit sa pag-measure ng length, ng width, at ng height. So kung ito ba ay centimeter, ito ba ay meter, dia uh, decimeter, uh, feet or inches. So, dapat alam natin kung ano yung ginamit. Itong mga figures natin is tinatawag nating three-dimensional figures or meron silang length, merong width, at merong height. So, sa pagkuha ng volume ng mga figure na to is simply multiply natin ang kanilang length, ang width, at ang kanilang height. So, lalagyan natin ng sukat ang ating uh, rectangular prism at ang ating cube. So, titingnan natin kung paano isolve ang kanilang volume. Again, sa pag-solve ng kanilang volume, volume is equal to length times width times height. So, volume is equal to length times width times height. So, meron tayong rectangular prism dito. Ang kanyang length is 10 cm. Ang kanyang width is 5 cm. At ang kanyang height is 4 cm. So, isolve natin ang volume kung ano yung volume ng ating rectangular prism. So, volume is equal to length. Ang length niya is 10 cm. Multiplied by the width. Ang width niya is 5 cm. And then multiplied by the height, ang height is 4 cm. So, i-multiply lang natin. 10 times 5 is equal to 50. Centimeter times centimeter is equal to centimeter squared. Or i-add nyo lang ang kanilang exponent. So, isang centimeter at isang centimeter is equal to centimeter squared times 4 cm. So, 50 times 4 is equal to 200. And then, centimeter squared times centimeter, so dalawa plus isa is equal to cubic centimeter. So, ang volume ng ating rectangular prism kung saan meron siyang length na 10 centimeter, merong height na 4 centimeter, at merong width na 5 centimeter, ang kanyang volume is 200 cubic centimeter. Ang pagbasa nito is uunahin natin ng exponent, cubic centimeter, hindi centimeter cube or hindi centimeter cubic. So, cubic centimeter ang pagkabasa niya. Meron naman tayong sukat sa ating cube. So, ang kanyang side is 12 feet, 12 feet, 12 feet. Or, ang kanyang volume is, uh, volume is equal to side cube. Or, ang kanyang side, i-multiply mo, mo sa kanyang sarili 3 times. Or, same lang sa length times width times height. So, i-multiply mo lang silang tatlo. So, i-solve natin ang volume ng ating cube. Ano yung, side, ano yung size ng kanyang side? 12 feet. So, 12 feet cube. Or, this simply means 12 feet times 12 feet times 12 feet. Okay? So, i-multiply natin. 12 feet times 12 feet is equal to 144 feet uh, 1 plus 1 squared times 12 feet. So, 144 times 12 is equal to 1,728 cubic feet. Kasi 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So, ang volume ng ating cube kung saan merong 12 feet na side is 1,728 cubic feet. Okay? So, ano yung application ng ating mga examples? Meaning, converting appropriate unit of measures in finding the volume. Kapag volume yung pinag-uusapan, of course, ang sagot natin is laging naka-cubic or laging naka-cube ang kanyang exponent. That's all for our lesson 1. Ang lesson 2 naman natin is about converting cubic centimeter to cubic meter at vice versa, pagkatapos i-convert mo ang cubic centimeter to liter and vice versa. So, yan ang pag-uusapan natin sa next lesson. So, lesson 2 na tayo, that is converting cubic centimeter to cubic meter and vice versa. So, dapat meron din tayong um, converting to cubic centimeter to cubic uh, to liter 
Pero sa susunod na nating lesson para hindi siya masyadong mahaba. So lesson 2 pa rin yung mag-convert tayo ng cubic centimeter to liter. So ngayon, cubic centimeter to cubic meter muna yung pag-usapan natin. Meron tayong example dito. A rectangular swimming pool contain 3 million cubic centimeter of water when full. How many cubic meter of water does it contain when it's full? So, ang given natin is 3 million cubic centimeter na water. I-convert natin siya into cubic meter. So, paano natin siya i-convert? Alam naman natin na ang value ng ating 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. I-convert natin ang, ang cubic centimeter to cubic meter. So, meron na tayong um, given dito na ang 1 meter natin is equal to 100 centimeter. So, ipagpalagay natin na 100 centimeter is equal to our 1 meter. Pero take note na naka-cube tayo. So, cubic ang ating uh, cube ang ating exponent or 3. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating 100 centimeter is gagawin natin siyang 100 centimeter times 100 centimeter times 100 centimeter. Kasi centimeter times centimeter times centimeter is equal to cubic centimeter. So, kaya naging 100 centimeter times 100 centimeter times 100 centimeter. Again, cubic centimeter. Ang 1, uh, ang 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. Tapos naka-cube tayo. So, ang gagawin natin is ang 100 100 centimeter, i-multiply natin ng tatlong beses kasi naka-cube tayo. So, 100 centimeter times 100 centimeter times 100 centimeter. So, ganun din ang gagawin natin kay 1 meter kasi si meter is naka-cube din siya. So, equals 1 meter, i-multiply din natin ng tatlong beses si 1 meter. 1 meter times 1 meter kasi naka-cube din ang meter natin dito. So, 100 centimeter times 100 centimeter times 100 centimeter is equal to 1 million. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1 million cubic centimeter. Kasi 100 times 100 times 100 is equal to 1 million. And then centimeter times centimeter times centimeter is equal to cubic centimeter. Kasi tatlo yung centimeter natin dito. O bakit naging meter to? So, tatlo ang ating centimeter, kaya naging cubic centimeter. Is equal to 1 times 1 equals 1, times 1 is equal to 1, and then meter times meter times meter is equal to tatlong meter, so that is cubic meter. Meron na tayong value. Ang isang cubic meter natin is equal to 1 million cubic centimeter. So, pwede na nating isolve ang ating problem na meron tayong 3 million cubic centimeter na tubig. I-convert natin siya into cubic meter. Okay, so 3 million cubic centimeter, i-convert natin into cubic meter. Meron na tayong value na ang value ng ating uh, isang cubic meter so, 1 cubic meter is equal to 1 million cubic centimeter. Cubic centimeter. Ayan. Dahil may value na tayo na ang 1 cubic meter is equal to 1 million cubic centimeter. So, ang gagawin natin is itong given natin na 3 million, i-divide natin sa 1 million. So, 3 million divided by 1 million is equal to how many cubic meter. So, 3 million divided by 1 million. So, 3 divided by 1 is equal to 3 is equal to cubic meter. So, ibig sabihin, ang 3 million cubic meter is equal to 3 cubic, uh, ang 3 million cubic centimeter rather is equal to 3 cubic meter. So, ito na yung sagot natin. So, uh, ang katumbas ng ating 3 million cubic centimeter is equal to 3 cubic meter. Another example tayo, that is 6.5 cubic meter to cubic centimeter. So, ngayon naman, si cubic meter is i-convert natin into cubic centimeter. So, cubic meter naman yung given natin. So, alam na natin na ang 1 cubic meter is equal to 1 million cubic centimeter based sa ating conversion kanina. So, ang 1 cubic meter natin is equal to 1 million cubic centimeter. So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin is i-convert natin itong 6.5 cubic meter to cubic centimeter. 
So, si 6.5, ang gagawin natin is i-multiply natin siya sa equivalent ng 1 cubic meter which is 1 million cubic centimeter times 4, 5, 6 times 1 million cubic or times 1, 6.5 times 1 million. So, equals how many cubic centimeter? So, 6.5 times 1 million is equal to 6 million 500,000. So, ibig sabihin, ang 6.5 cubic meter is equal to 6 million 500 thousand cubic centimeter. So, ito na yung sagot natin. Ang tatandaan lang natin kapag ang i-convert natin is cubic centimeter to cubic meter, ang gagawin natin is i-divide natin siya ng 1 million. Pagkatapos, kapag ang i-convert naman natin is from cubic meter to cubic centimeter, ang gagawin natin is i-multiply natin siya sa 1 million. Converting cubic centimeter to liter and vice versa. Meron tayong example dito. An aquarium can hold 10 liters of water. How many cubic centimeter of water does it hold? So, ang given natin is liters. Ang gagawin natin is i-convert natin siya into cubic centimeter. So, liter ang gagawin natin. Liter yung given natin. I-convert natin into cubic centimeter. Tatandaan natin na ang ating 1 liter is equal to 1 cubic Decimeter. So, ang 1 liter natin is equal to 1 cubic decimeter. Dahil liter ang given natin at i-convert natin siya into cubic centimeter, so ang gagamitin natin is 1 cubic decimeter or cubic decimeter kasi ang cubic decimeter is equal to 1 liter. So, ang gagamitin natin dito is cubic decimeter. Okay? So, kasi magkapareho lang ang 1 liter equivalent to 1 cubic decimeter. So, ngayon, ang... Uh, Ang cubic centimeter natin is, meron tayo ditong 10 centimeter, ang equivalent niya is 1 decimeter. Meaning, ang 1 decimeter is equal to 10 centimeter. At ngayon, dahil naka-cubic tayo at naka-cubic tayo, ang ibig sabihin, i-multiply natin siya ng tatlong beses. So, ang gagawin natin para makuha natin ang ating cube is, i-multiply natin ng tatlong beses si decimeter times 1 decimeter, times 1 decimeter. At, si 10 centimeter naman para makuha natin ang cube or 3 centimeter, i-multiply natin siya ng 3 beses. So, 10 centimeter times 10 centimeter times 10 centimeter. So, ngayon, i-multiply na natin siya. So, 1 times 1 equals 1, times 1 equals 1, and then decimeter times decimeter times decimeter, ilang decimeter meron tayo? Tatlo. So, ibig sabihin magiging 1 cubic decimeter na ito. Pagkatapos sa kabila naman, 10 times 10 equals 100. Times 10 equals 1,000. So, 1,000 centimeter times centimeter times centimeter. Ilang centimeter meron tayo? Tatlo. So, magiging cubic centimeter. So, ibig sabihin, ang conversion natin, ang 1 cubic decimeter is equal to 1,000 centimeter. So, ngayon, tatandaan natin na ang 1 cubic decimeter is equal to 1 liter. So, ang 1 liter natin or 1 cubic decimeter is equal to 1,000 cubic centimeter. Tatandaan natin na ang value ng ating 1 liter ay 1,000 cubic centimeter. Para ma-solve natin or ma-convert natin itong 10 liters into cubic centimeter. Ngayon, pwede na natin i-convert ang ating 10 lit liters into cubic centimeter. So, 10 liters equals how many cubic centimeter. So, since ang 1 liter natin is equal to 1,000 cubic centimeter or ang ating 1 liter or 1 cubic decimeter is equal to 1,000 cubic centimeter. So, ang mangyayari is... 10 liters or 10 liters times 1,000 cubic centimeter. So, 10 times 1,000 is equal to 10,000. 
Again, balikan natin para maintindihan natin. Ang 10 liters is i-convert natin into cubic centimeter. So, alam na natin na ang isang liter ay merong equivalent na 1,000 cubic centimeter. So, para ma-convert natin ang ating 10 liters into cubic centimeter, i-multiply natin ang ating 10 liters sa value ng isang liter, which is 1,000 cubic centimeter. So, 10, that's why 10 times 1,000 is equal to 10,000. So, therefore, ang sagot natin is ang 10 liters is equal to 10,000 cubic centimeter. So, ito na yung sagot natin na ang equivalent ng ating 10 liters na water na ma-hold ng aquarium is equal to 10,000 cubic centimeter. Another example tayo. So, cubic centimeter naman, i-convert natin into liters. Meron tayong given dito. 45,000 cubic centimeter gawin nating liter. So, again, ang value ng ating 1 liter is equal to 1,000 cubic centimeter. So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin, 45,000, 45,000, i-divide natin sa 1,000 or itong value ng ating isang liter. Again, so, ang 45,000 or ang value ng ating na naka cubic centimeter i-divide natin sa value ng isang liter which is 1,000 cubic centimeter. So ngayon 45,000 divided by 1,000 is equal to 45. So therefore 45,000 cubic centimeter is equal to 45 liters. So ibig sabihin ang 45 cubic centimeter na tubig kapag i-convert natin into liters is magiging 45 liters. So, ang tatandaan lang natin kapag ang i-convert natin is cubic centimeter to liters, ang gagawin natin is i-divide natin siya. Kapag baliktad naman, kapag ang liters ang given mo, tapos i-convert mo into cubic centimeter, ang gagawin mo is i-multiply mo siya. That's all for today's video guys. Ang susunod nating lesson is about math pa rin, pero grade 6 math naman yung pag-uusapan natin, module 2. See you on our next lesson. Bye!